So I was talking to a friend of mine about this talk, and he said something that caught my attention. He told me an idea this extreme would automatically put him off. I thought to myself, wow, is this an extreme idea? I mean, if anything, I thought people would think of it as being utopian, something too grand, something that will work in theory, but has no real practical implications. But it also got me thinking about how we use the term extreme. If the idea of a world without money is extreme, then what kind of words would we use to describe a world with money? Moderate, safe? Are these the words you think about when you think of your relationship with money? Or do you automatically start thinking about how much more of it you need to meet your next goal? Maybe it's to buy a house or start a family. Maybe it's more immediate things like paying this month's rent or getting enough food. Now that you're thinking about money, are you feeling a bit stressed out, anxious? Well, you're not alone. Money issues have consistently ranked as the number one cause of stress and anxiety in the US and the UK. The thing is, most of us don't put an inherent value on money. We think of it as a means to an end. But we also understand the type of precarity we'd be in if we don't make enough of it, whatever that means for us. Since we know we need money, we're willing to make sacrifices over what we do to get it. We'll take up jobs we're not happy with, put up with bad bosses and colleagues. We'll take that unpaid internship in the hopes to get a paid job. And some of us will even take out student loans to study things we might not necessarily want, but things that we hope will give us a better chance in the future to earn a living. 